Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. Now in this video, some problems on chapter number six, that is accounting as a measurement discipline, valuation principles and accounting estimates. Last two videos, I have explained you all the concepts regarding measurement, valuation principle and accounting estimate. Now though that theory I'm going to apply in this problems, short problems are there. So before starting the problem, take the screenshot of the points written on the board, then I'll explain every point in detail. Now, first problems are true and uh, false. So we have to identify which item is true in the given cases true or false there are four generally accepted measurement bases the four generally accepted measurement bases here it is given historical cost current cost realizable value future value no future value is not one of the generally accepted measurement bases it is the present value so these given four items are generally accepted measurement bases is false it is not true the first three are correct. Historical cost is one of the measurement basis and current cost is also one of the measurement basis and realizable value is also one of the current uh, measurement basis but future value is not. The future value is not a measurement basis. It is the present value. Right? So this statement was wrong. Next, historical cost means price paid at the time of acquisition. The previous video I have explained you the different concepts. What do you mean by historical cost, current cost, realizable value, present value? All these concepts I have explained. So historical cost is the price paid at the time of acquisition of the asset. So here it is true. Historical cost means price paid at the time of acquisition. Now as per the future value, Assets are carried at the amount of cash or cash equivalent that could currently be obtained by selling the asset in an orderly disposal. So when, when the asset is orderly disposed of, sold off, the cash or cash equivalent realized is called realizable value, not the future value. It is saying as per future value. No, it is as per realizable value. As per realizable value, assets are carried at the amount of cash or cash equivalent that could currently be obtained by selling the asset in an orderly disposal. That is the realizable value. So given statement is false. Actually the statement given is for realizable value, but it is given as future value. Next, at present value, Liabilities are carried at the value of future net cash outflows that are expected to be required to be settled. The liabilities in the normal course of business. No. At the present value, the liabilities are carried at the present discounted value, not at the value of future net cash outflows. It is the present discounted value of future cash outflows. So we have to discount all the future cash outflows, discount at a particular rate, then we will get the present value. So simply present value is nothing but the discounted value of all future cash outflows. But here discounted value is not given, it is given carried at the value of future cash outflows. So this statement is false, it is not true. The true statement should be the present value at present value liabilities are carried at the present discounted value present discounted value of the future net cash outflows that are expected to be required to settle the liability in the normal course of business so this given statement is false next abc purchased a machinery amounting to rupees 10 lakh on 1st april 2001 on 31st march 2022 Similar machinery could be purchased for 20 lakh and this is the current cost. Historical cost of the machine is 20 lakh. Is it true or false? It is false. The historical cost is the cost at which 
the asset was acquired or purchased here the asset was purchased for 10 lakh so this 10 lakh rupees is the historical cost this 20 lakh rupees what it is saying is the current cost so here the historical cost of the machine is 20 lakh this is false the historical cost is 10 lakhs that's all next sixth question abc purchased a machinery amounting to rupees 10 lakh on 1st April 2001, on 31st March 2022, similar machine could be purchased for 20 lakh. The current cost of the machine is 20 lakhs. That is true. Actually, the historical cost of the machine is 10 lakh. But if you want to purchase a similar machine right now, it will require 20 lakh. If we purchase the similar machine right now in 2022, you have to pay 20 uh, 20 lakhs. So this 20 lakh rupees is the current cost of the machine. It is correct. True. Change in accounting estimate has to be given retrospective effect. Retrospective effect means from the beginning. For example, we have used the machine for five years. After five years, we have to make a change in the policy. But we cannot make the change in the policy from beginning. From now onwards, we can make the change. So any change in policy should not be of retrospective effect from the beginning. It should be from today. So here change in accounting estimate has to be given to retrospective effect. It is false. It is not true. We cannot make change from beginning. We can change. Uh, we can make the changes only from now. That's it. Now these are the true or false questions. Now some multiple choice questions MCQ. First one, measurement disciplines deals with, here three answers are given, which answer is correct you have to identify. Measurement discipline deals with identification of objects and events, selection of scale or both A and B. In the first video I have explained you about the measurement discipline. Measurement discipline deals with identification of the events and transactions, objects and events. And secondly, selection of a scale. Both these are nothing but the measurement discipline. So the answer is both A and B. Identifying the objects or events and selection of the scale. <clears throat> both comes under measurement discipline. All of the following are valuation principles except. The valuation principles are all except one. Which is that one which is not a valuation principle. First one, historical cost. It is a valuation principle. Present value. It is a valuation principle. But future value is not a valuation principle. So it is asking you all the following are valuation except one. Which is that one? Future value. Future value is not a valuation principle. Next. Book value of machinery on 31st March 2022 is 10 lakh. Market value as on 31st March 2022, if sold, is equal to 11 lakh. As on 31st March 2022, if the company values the machinery at 11 lakh, which of the following valuation principle is being followed? See, actually the book value of the machinery is 10 lakh only, but the market value is 11 lakh. That means if the company sell, sold the machine, they may get 11 lakh rupees. So this 11 lakh rupees is the realizable value. Here historical cost, present value or realizable value. It is a realizable value. If the machine is sold, it will fetch rupees 11 lakh. So this 11 lakh rupees is the realizable value. Next, second question. Mohan purchased a machinery amounting to rupees 10 lakh on 1st April 2001. So this 10 lakh rupees is the historical cost. On 31st March 22, similar machinery could be purchased for 20 lakh, but the realizable value of the machinery was estimated to be 15 lakh. That means this similar machinery could be purchased for 20 lakh. This is the current cost. The current cost of the machine is 20 lakh, but the realizable value of the machine is 15 lakh. The present discounted value of the, of the future net cash inflow that the machinery was expected to generate in the normal course of business could was calculated. 12 lakh. So simply 12 lakh rupees is the present value 
on all future cash inflows we can get in future. Now, one by one. The current cost of the machine is, what is the current cost of the machine? Here it is. Similar machine could be purchased for 20 lakh. So 20 lakh rupees is the current cost. The current cost of the machine is 20 lakh B. Next, the present value of the machinery is, the last line it is given, the present discounted value of the machine is 12 lakh. Here it is 12 lakh. C is the answer. Next one, the historical cost of the machinery. The first line is given, Mohan purchased a machinery amounting to rupees 10 lakh. This 10 lakh rupees is the historical cost. Yet 10 lakh. Lastly, the realizable value of the machinery is, here it is given, realizable value of the machinery was estimated at 15 lakh. So here answer is 15 lakh. That's all. So all the short cross, uh, questions, true or false and MCQs completed on chapter number 6. So inshallah in the next video I will start the next chapter, that is chapter, chapter number 7.